Mouth Jr. here. I was in my favorite book today. You already know. Turn your Bibles to Mark 8 and 22. When Jesus got to this little town called Bethsaida, a group of people brought their blind party to go see Jesus. They was like, we about to go take your blind tail to go see Jesus, partner. All right. They begged Jesus. Come on, Jesus, son of man. Don't you see my partner blind? Can you touch him? Please, please, please touch him. All right. Jesus was like, come with me. Jesus grabbed the man by the hand and led him outside the village. Once Jesus got the man outside the village, he spit on him. <laughs> Spit on me, did he? I'ma keep it 100. If I was the blind dude in the Bible when my partners took me to go see Jesus and he spit on me, I'd probably still be blind because it'd have been a misunderstanding. I'm from St. Louis, bro. Thank you, Jesus. This was Bible day. Flat out. After Jesus spit on the man, he touched his eyes and asked him, What do you see? I see men, but they look like big old trees walking. Jesus touched his eyes again. After the second touch, he was able to see things clearly. I can see clearly. Then Jesus said, Don't you take your tail back to that village. Flat out. All right. What a story. Now, first things first. The blind dude was blind, but his partners had sense enough to take him to Jesus. Where your friends take you when you blind? Say you and your boyfriend break up, you call your girl and tell her that you hurt, and she tell you, you. Girl, that's cool. We just gonna hit the club tonight. Wrong. That ain't gonna do nothing. You gonna wake up in the morning and your feelings still gonna be hurt. Plus, now your head gonna hurt. That's stupid. Flat out. Evidently, the blind dude had some good friends because he ended up seeing. Clearly. But not the first time. It amazes me that even though this blind dude was being touched by Jesus, he still couldn't see clearly the first time. He said, I see men, but they look like big old trees walking. Question, how does dude know what trees look like if he was born blind? Hmm. Hmm. Because he wasn't born blind. He must have went blind. Sometimes life has a way of blinding us. And even in the presence of Jesus, you can't see it how he desires you to see it. But if you could take it to Jesus the second time, you'll be able to see clearly why you at that job. That drive you crazy sometimes. You'll understand why you're in that relationship. That gets hard sometimes. You know it. You'll understand why you're at that school. Listen, seek God for your second encounter so you can see clearly. Because a clear vision helps every decision. So what you made mistakes after you got saved? The only person that ain't made no mistakes is a person who ain't never did nothing. Ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. Don't give up on the faith prematurely. God loves you and he's awaiting your second encounter. Listen, unless you can see the ultimate, you'll always be blinded by the immediate. Make sure you subscribe to this channel every Wednesday, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to have an inspired message. For all booking and donating options, please log on to WillieMoreJr.org. I hope you got something out there message, so leave a comment, click a thumbs up, and send this to everybody else you know. You got it. We're going to have our own TV show soon. I feel it in my sha -na, na All right. Well, the kingdom is my business, but not this right here is personal. Kingdom is my business, but not this right here is personal. Kingdom is my business, but not this right here is personal. This right here is personal. This right here is personal.